The front pages are ready, and I'll share the detail with you uh, now. The Ghanaian Times says the Electoral Commission begins voter registration exercise tomorrow. President rallies all to register to vote in 2020, and it comes with a very beautiful photo of the president and vice president at the acclamation over the weekend. Heavy military presence in Ketu South is to enforce border closure. Volta Regional Minister Dr. Lechade. Minority MPs demand withdrawal of military deployment to the Ghana Togo border town. And the NDC uh, MPs in the Volta region have said notice that they are visiting um, the Volta region today. First African female elected on the ICC board. Daily graphic. President extends incentive package for health workers. They won't pay income tax for the next three months. Anas exposes COVID-19 scam. We'll show that full expose here. Also, acclamation of MPP flag bearer, Ekufuado Baumia ticket for election 2020. Electoral Commission voters registration exercise movement plan phase one is on page 56 and uh, through to 59. The Finder newspaper, proclaim our good works. President charges MPP faithful 33,000 um, 367 centers to register 16 million voters. I'm humbled to be selected for the fourth time as the running mate, Dr. Bormia said. And COVID-19 Ghana confirms nine more deaths. The BNFT this morning says that um, digitization or digitization of, sorry about the offers brighter future for banks amid pandemic. Borrow from Heritage Fund. Uh, that's what... Um, a gentleman in the front is saying, and daily data master lead COVID-19 work rationalization decisions. Also, finally, the daily guide. NPP ready for 2020. Nana Baumia Jab Mahama. President opens Suhum overpass at long last. Uh, it was opened once in 2017. The road minister said there was a problem with it. We didn't see any work going on it. And now we've seen it opened. We're grateful anyway. I'll help Nana get re-elected. NDC chairman is threatening uh, the U.S. vice chancellor. Um, we'll tell you about that. Also, the dispatch, 4% of Ghanaians vote on ethnic basis. It gives you the percentage. Greater Accra, for example, have 18.8 .8 people. I was 17.9. Uh, uh, Fanti, 10.6. Dangbe, 10.3. Achim, 17.8. Dangbe, 16.9. Uh, Ever 15.9 and Equiapum uh, would have negative 10.6. Well, that's what Ben Epson is talking about. He's doing a comparison of Eastern and uh, uh, the Greater Accra region. Breakdown of all the major ethnic groupings. And John Mahama's response to the Supreme Court on the voters' register. I'm sure you do know that he's just disappointed, but the courts have made their decision. My guest this morning is the Honorable Deputy Minister for Information of the Republic, Pius Enam Hajde and Honorable Sam Jata George. He is the Member of Parliament for the good people of Ningo Pram Pram. He's wearing white today. I don't know what he's celebrating. Sam, how are you doing? What are you celebrating? Life. A uh, very good morning to yourself and mm. uh, to the Deputy Minister. Celebrating life, mm. thanking God that um, I'm alive and well, and grateful that by God's divine providence, mm. uh, and I hope that it continues, my people and I in Ningo Pram Pram have not yet been subjected, and I use the word yet, mm. been subjected to the draconian, despotic uh, decision-making of the President of the Republic, as we see happening to our brothers and sisters in parts of the Volta <coughs> region and OT region. And so, whilst we are still free men in our own country, mm. we want to thank God. And even as we thank God for that, we extend our solidarity mm. to our brothers and sisters, uh, Pius's mm. family, kids and kin, <coughs> who have been subjected mm. to what you can call uh, official sanctioned terrorism using state security operatives in a despotic manner to, to, to what, intimidate what, what and an, to harass. What an intro. Uh, to intimidate and harass the innocent citizens of Ghana along the borders. I, I was just reading 
a statement by we'll, the we'll office. Get, we'll, get, we'll get to the statement. No, this is my opening intro. I, I was just reading a statement by His Excellency, the founder of the NDC, mm. Jerry John Rawlings, mm. who is saying that in peacetime, such deployments are worrisome. And mm. let me say a very good morning to President Rawlings and President Mahama, who has also mm. had cause to question some <coughs> of these deployments and mm. hope that the, the, the Anglo state, the attack mm. on the Anglo state, uh, we would all, all well-meaning Ghanaians would, and sons and daughters of Anglo would mm. stand up and rise up against this, okay. this intimidation. Thank you. Pius, how are you doing? What are you also celebrating? Well, thank you, uh, Johnny. Good morning to you and to my colleague and to the cherished viewers of uh, TV3. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, Johnny, I'd like to use your opportunity to uh, congratulate His Excellency, the President of the Republic mm -hmm. and his running mate. Uh, the duo has been maintained by the NPP mm -hmm. as our candidate for the 2020 general elections. Mm -hmm. And uh, they are deserving of a second term. Uh, and we are looking forward for a massive re-election and endorsement. Uh, this is a ticket that has delivered on its promises. Uh, over 78% of the promises and commitments we made to the people of Ghana uh, we have kept faith with them and delivering on them. Mm. Uh, if you check for a first term government mm -hmm. in our fourth Republican dispensation, mm -hmm. no government, including that of the Venerable John Ajikum Kufo, mm. no government has come close to delivering on the life changing uh, achievements. Mm -hmm. No government has come close. Uh, you can talk about free SHS, mm. you can talk about the restoration of allowances, you can talk about uh, the developments we are seeing in agriculture, mm. you can talk about the light industrialization that is happening in one district, one factory, okay. can go on and on. Uh, the doom saw that used to cripple businesses mm. uh, and to destroy the Ghanaian economy. Uh, is now a thing of the past. Okay. The, please, that, uh, Johnny, I watched the time closely and I'm going to be very strict Pius. on the application this morning. Pius. You allowed him, Pius. you came in. Me. Pius, <laughs> my brother, <laughs> I am watching, I am the moderator and I'm watching the time. I beg you. That's why when he started, he said, I've read the still, I said, hold on, we won't go there now. I've given you equal time. Johnny, you have and to, I don't no, I have to protest you. at the very beginning. I've watched. I've watched, I've counted, mm. I've been looking at the time from the very so when, onset, so from the very onset, for very onset. When are you supposed to end? I barely even started. Oh, wow. I barely even started. <laughs> and I'm going to insist that you act fairly on this program. As long any time I'm here, I'm going to ensure that you act so, fairly. So when are you supposed to end? It's 21 now. When are you supposed to finish talking? I'll finish on 24. 24? Yes, because okay. you gave him six minutes to speak. I'm are barely three minutes wow. into my presentation. I've been watching. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. No, so you're going to give him six no, minutes? No, no, allow him. Go ahead. Thank you. You can speak to 27, Thank actually. you. Thank you. Okay, let's go. So His Excellency and his team, deserving of a second term, mm. they have delivered on their promises. Mm -hmm. They have, like I said, resolved to do so. Mm. The economy that the NDC and the Mr. Mahama inherited was growing at an average over 7%. Mm. They shrank it to a little over 3%. Mm. We started back, we revamped the economy, we were growing it back. It was averaging about 7% until COVID came. Mm. And so we have demonstrated to the people of Ghana that we have what it takes to govern this country and to deliver results to the people of Ghana. And so they are deserving. Uh, well, we will come to some of the commentary that my brother uh, spoke about, and I'll leave it for the main discussion. Thank you. You may proceed. I thought you said we were going to finish 24. I was I'm well, willing I still to give you 27. Time. I gave you more time. Don't I was worry. willing to give you 27. Don't worry. <laughs> Sam. It's pathetic. Oh. No, no, it's okay. Heavy military presence, we're told, is in get to south to enforce border closure. And um, I've seen a write-up by the Honourable Member of Parliament uh, for the area, also the aspiring Member of Parliament for the area, Honourable Ablan mm -hmm. Jifa Gomashi, uh, talking about the fact that this follows the commentary made by Gabi Asariotre Daku uh, a few weeks ago. Now, the Volta Regional Minister, Dr. Yao Lecha, has explained that the heavy presence of armed personnel of the military and other security agencies in the Ketu South municipality is meant 
to enforce the closure of the border. According to him, the number of personnel of the Ghana Immigration Service at the borders are now inadequate to enforce the closure effectively, for which reason other security agencies were assisting to enforce this closure. Sam, we've heard Honorable Katie Amond, MP4, Asukwa, make certain statements which um, some have considered as tribal bigotry, especially on social media as well. People say he didn't speak well. He says whatever he said was misconstrued, that Voltarians and Togolese are not Ghanaians. Um, some have found it quite unfortunate. Now, the minister is telling us that what, what you are thinking, that we are putting people there to oppress them and to, if you like, disrupt stuff, is not. It's just to protect and ensure that there's law and order. Do you still stand by your claim? Once again, let me say a very good morning to our viewers. And, and you're um, starting on the 24th month, by the way. Okay, fantastic. Let's, let's all start monitoring that time. I have always had trust in your neutrality as a host. And so, <laughs> How convenient. And so for me, I'm not going to complain. If I have any cause, I will complain. But let, let, let's proceed. Um, the point must be made clear here that um, Mr. KT Hammond has not been misquoted. He didn't speak Chinese, Mandarin, mm. or any foreign language. He spoke in English, a language that we all have a fair appreciation of. What Mr. KT Hammond said is not news to the descending Ghanaian mind. Why is it not? Ah, the NPP and its forebears have always held a certain view of people coming from the Volta region. Mm. It's, it's, it's no knowledge, it's, it's tried knowledge. Ah, they were called inward looking people by a stalwart of the NPP or, or a, the, pre, the, the precursor to the MPP. When the MPP came into office, it's then General Secretary, Governor Japan. What did he say about the about, about people in Ho and Hohoi? Recently, what did Gabi Ochidaku not say about the same case to South? Is it not the comments, the ill-informed, ignorant comments that Gabi Ochidaku made about K to South and the voter trends in K to South? And compare that to Bantama. Mm. Is it not that that has triggered all of what we are saying? Where he speaks about Ketu South and, 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 and shows a certain growth in numbers and talks about Bantama, but forget that Bantama as a constituency has been split into three. And so if you want to do any, any logical analysis, <coughs> would have looked at Ketu South from 92, as you've looked at the growth rate, and then the three constituencies that form Bantama. Okay. Also look at the growth rates in there. People have made arguments about, and Katie Hammond made some comments about the elections and how K2 South did some magic, as they put it. You know, again, falsehood. If you look at the figures and you look at the trends mm. of what the change was in the 20, 2008 election between K2 South and Bantama. Right. And the, and, and the additional votes between round one and round two, Nanado benefited way more than Professor Mills from Bantama, than Professor Mills did from Ketu South. Today you tell me that you are deploying the military mm -hmm. to our borders because of COVID. What's wrong with that? Ah, Dr. Archibald Lecher, his wife is my constituent. He's someone I have some respect for for his academic prowess. I mean, he shouldn't reduce himself to such pedestrian arguments. Okay, yes, he's a bosom friend of the president. He wants to defend the president at all costs, but he must reserve some level of integrity. Don't insult our intelligence. Why? When was the COVID-19 pandemic declared a global pandemic? When did the president do a lockdown? When were our borders closed? How many months ago were our borders not closed? Why has it taken this long for the military to be deployed? And why is the deployment of the military tied to end immediately after the Electoral Commission finishes its registration process? How come the Electoral Commission process, mm -hmm. the military has been deployed barely a week to mm -hmm. the commencement of the Electoral Commission registration and the, the operation is supposed to terminate mm -hmm. about a week after the Electoral Commission has finished this registration? You think we are kids? If people in the MPP are having issues with <laughs> comprehension mm -hmm. and some of those things, the rest of Ghanaians, we don't have those problems. We can see through the lines. What we are, understand what, 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 what it is. What are you looking at? Well, James Agaga is alleging that they are putting fear in the people. Ah, but look, have you seen what is going on? When you go to the market at Denu, is that a border post? <laughs> so why, are, why do you have military and security personnel in the markets? Mm. 
in Denu, whipping our mothers and aunties over there. They're whipping them. I'm telling you, videos have emerged. <laughs> the people's way of life, and if you even read President Rawlings' own statement, uh, he makes it clear that the actions of the security men in peacetime, disrupting the regular way of life of the people of the Volta region and parts of the Oti region, is uncalled for. Look, they said they are, they are protecting our borders. Mm -hmm. Ghana has got borders with Togo, along the Volta, Oti, mm -hmm. and some parts of Northeastern. Mm -hmm. Or, uh, no, yes, northeast region or whatever it's called now. We've also got a border with Burkina Faso mm -hmm. in the upper west and upper east regions. Right. You've got a border in the Bono and Bono East regions, mm -hmm. the Mar area with Ivory Coast. How come there is no military deployment in that area? Tell me, what do you know? Simply because that area is a stronghold of the MPP. And so the and so the, the suggestion. Mm -hmm is that the operations are happening only in areas that are perceived to be NDC strongholds. Look, and you can choose to play, I, I am shocked, when I see people like Pius and other friends who are Voltarians mm. in the NPP, feeling comfortable about the attack and onslaught on their own people, their own cousins. Me, my relation to the, the Volta agent is, they're my in-laws. They've given me a beautiful woman as a wife. Okay? Mm. But the, the, when I see sons and daughters of the land, I wonder how they'll be able to go back home and look at their ancestors, look at their parents, their uncles and aunties whose lives have been, have been, have been brutalized and affected in the manner in you which it is being done. You're talking about brutality, but you have not demonstrated to me how the oh, brutality is happening. There are, there, you, may, you may seek to say that you, you send your camera crew. Send your camera crew and ask the people. <laughs> I've mentioned the new market. Mm -hmm. I've mentioned the new market right. and the things that are going on there. That's the reason why today the NDC Volta Caucus is showing up there, okay, to, to, to ask what exactly is it. Does it, not, does it not also explain that since Denu is closer to the Aflao border, there could be an overflow from the border there? If you say you are doing border patrols, the border is not in the market. The border is not the market. Mm -hmm. So go to the border. You say you are doing border patrols, go to the unapproved routes. But what is, your, what is the heavy presence intimidating people doing low, low, low flying of helicopters mm. over villages? I mean, those are, those are very, very, very routine intimidatory tactics that are used by, uh, by, uh, by, uh, by desperate despots. I've heard some MPP uh, people talk about the fact that there are always those that come in into uh, you know, those border towns to come and register and vote. And in fact, the allegation is that their cards are taken from them right after the election is done, and then when they come back and there's another election, they give them the cards. How true is that? It is a figment of the fertile imagination of people in the MPP. Look, when people say that they don't understand the numbers, one big thing people fail to realize is that many people who are Voltarians mm -hmm. and live in Accra, Kumase, Tamale, many of them go home to register and go back home to vote. So when you see a swell of numbers there, it is not people coming from outside Ghana. It is Voltarians. Look, Voltarians, are, you need to just take the demographic makeup mm -hmm. of Ghana and look at what percentage are Voltarians. <coughs> and look at their spread. Ah, look, they, they do travel across the length and breadth of the country. And anybody who's traveled this country mm -hmm. knows that almost every part of the country you get to, you either find a Voltarian or a Dangwe settlement. They are well-traveled. But many of them always go back home mm -hmm. to register and go back home to vote. So to look at just the, 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 the numbers there and think that those people come from outside Ghana, it will be the shock of the MPP at the end of this registration exercise when they see the numbers again. Look, let me, let's, let's be clear about one thing. Mm -hmm. It is another interesting discussion that we hear. Mm -hmm. When people like Gabi Asari or Chidaku can hold a British citizenship and a Ghanaian citizenship, mm -hmm. and it is fine for Gabi to register, but Pius's cousin, or Richard Ahiagba's cousin, who is Ghanaian and half Togolese, mm -hmm. and can hold Togolese and Ghanaian citizenship, is said not to be Ghanaian enough to hold a Ghanaian passport. Or is not Ghanaian enough to have a, a, a registration. Simply because a grandparent or a mother or a father is Togolese and one parent is Ghanaian. What does the 1992 constitution say? Article 6.2 says that anybody born inside or outside of Ghana to at least one... Mm -hmm. 
either a father, mother, or one of your four grandparents being Ghanaian, you are Ghanaian. And that is how even Bonito Olympio mm. and his son, Bonito Olympio was president of, of Togo. Togo right. Justice Wiredu ruled that Bonito Olympio was Ghanaian. So you are asking for the security to be withdrawn. Are you not asking for too much? No. Is listen. it not the president's duty to protect everybody? What is the president and you wrap protecting up on us this again? one for me. Mm. What is the president protecting us from or against? You have shut the borders. You mm. claim you shut the borders. Can the president establish to us any justification for the kinds of deployments we have seen in the Volta and Oti regions and Upper East and Upper West regions? Mm. Can anybody show us empirical evidence of the fact that there have been breaches and continuous breaches of our border line that, in, that in, uh, 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 requires this kind of deployment? No. There is no evidence that supports it. Okay. In all the talk they have done, nobody has shown you any evidence or proof mm -hmm. that there has been a breach of our borders and that anybody has come into the country without, without, without uh, 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 warrant. Okay. And so, at the end of the day, Johnny, they are creating a problem mm -hmm. to try and find a solution to a non-existent problem. That's how, that's how incompetent. Mm. And in fact, for want of a better phrase, useless, this administration has become. Okay. Uh, we'll start on the 34th mark. Pius, I'll ask you, what is the science and data backing the introduction of military presence, which the people have bemoaned that is supposed to, uh, if you like, uh, press them down? What is the science and data backing it? Well, I thank you very much. We'll start on I the would, 34th mark. I, I, I would rather move <coughs> away from emotive, outbursts, reckless commentary that are not grounded in any facts mm. and deal with the important issues of our territorial integrity, our public health interest, which the president is showing concern for. We are not minded to uh, put votes over people and be interested in uh, opening up the borders, encouraging a porous border because it inures to our political advantage, mm. even <clears> though <throat> there is <clears throat> evidence on the ground that it is a threat to the public health of the people of the Volta region that the NDC claims that they, are, they love so much, mm. evidence to which does not exist and supports that claim on the ground, and I'll come to that. But let me explain and state for the record that anybody who says that deployment is in Ketu South and the Volta region alone mm. is proceeding from the basis of ignorance, and lack of knowledge. Guide me. The pro deployments have been made to several regions, including the Volta region. Deployments have been made into several district municipalities, including Ketu South. Okay. This deployment is not about Ketu South. Mm. An attempt to limit this to a post that was made by Gabi about Ketu South and to bring in Bantaman is to have a limited view of what is pertaining on the ground. Okay. This is not about Ketu South mm. alone as a district. Or as a which which other regions are there? That there's the Upper East, there's the OT, there's the Upper West, and I can go on. Okay. And there is enough literature. I've just looked at a statement that was issued by the Office of the Flag Bearer of the NDC, and he indeed confirms that deployment has been reported in those of, uh, other regions as well. Mm. And I come from the Volta region. And I am better positioned because even just this weekend, I was in the home, I was in my hometown. Okay. Well, so I am better placed to give you a first-hand account. This claim of military in market is false. Is it? It is absolutely false. I was there myself. I'm reporting to you firsthand. Okay. I come from a border district and a border constituency myself. The Ketu North, which used to be part of the Ketu South. And so I know, I have lived the experience, and I know this claim that deployments are in towns and markets and cities is false. So the what, deployments so have been it, made. Where are they getting this from? The deployment, you can ask them, it's a figment of their imagination. And if anybody has any fertile, any such fertile imagination, it is them. And not anybody in the MPP. The military have been deployed along the border line. In fact, if you go to many villages, you will not even notice the presence because the military and it's a joint force of military and immigration, mm. they are actually in the bushes and not in the town. Why are they not in, in the Bono area, the Doma area, for example, he's asking? Well, my understanding is that they are. And I said to you that there are several <laughs> regions. Okay. I said to you now that there are several regions. Right. We can get into severity of the breaches and all that. Mm. But it's not peculiar to OT, uh, to the Volta. Okay. 
It's in Hoti, it's in Upper East, it's in Upper West. Now he's saying that Upper East and Upper West, they are strongholds of the NDG, MPP. That's why he just claimed that the, the problems are not in those areas because no, they are... He said but, the Dorma area. Said. He said the Dorma. Well, but, but I'm saying to you that there are deployments in regions like Upper East, Upper West. But I said that. And I so said there's that, no... There okay, is no... Sam, there is Sam, no, no, there, if he's quoting me, no, 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 must say what so, I said Sam, right. Allow him, allow, I'm, I'm appealing to you. Allow, no, Don't so, let him twist what so, I said. So, so what so I to proceed. What I heard Sam say is that... Let's not uh, uh, no, let's upper move. East, upper. He says that the military are not in the Dorma area because yes. there's a border. Uh, well, I'll, I'll deal. Coast, I'll, I'll, I'll deal, I'll deal, I'll deal. I will deal with those. I'm saying to you that it's out of it's comments made out of ignorance. If you do not know, it's fair to admit that you don't know. Mm. The people who are making the deployment, and I can inform you that the military will give a proper briefing on on the levels of deployments that have been made. If you're not aware, you may not know when. I believe within the day. Okay. So these deployments have been made just to enforce. We have noticed increased incidences of the breach of, of the border closure. Mm. When people come into this country, they have, they, they have brought in corona. When they come, we quarantine them at great cost. As we speak, the cattle that they are talking about, I've just looked at huge bills that that district has to pay for quarantining hundreds of people that have been arrested for breaching the border. Those monies could have gone into building schools for the people of Ketu South. They are not Ghanaians. They are, I'm saying they breached. They came in, the borders are closed. Okay. So whether they are Ghanaians or not, it's immaterial. The borders are closed. So immediately you come in, you are quarantined at great cost. Right. Those monies could have gone to building schools for the good people of Ketu South. They don't care about the schools. But, but is there a plan? They care about, they care about people coming in just to register. Is, there, Why? is there a plan like we did for the folks who came from Kuwait, from the U.S.? To bring in Ghanaians who are we can deal with that matter later. Let's deal with the issue of no, no, the so deployment. I'm you, it's well, I, I, I want to deal with the issue of the deployment. This is another invitation. Let's deal with the issue of the deployments. You're, so, saying, you're, you're saying that whether they are Ghanaians or not, they breach the border. But that's not what we are discussing. We are discussing the border. I want to discuss the border. I, I think it's an important question you ask, but we can discuss it later. But I, will use, I want to use my time to deal with the deployment that was made and the kind of uh, misinformation, misinterpretation. And again, you see, the NDC minority mm. met with the Regional Security Council, the Parliamentary Caucus. Mm. They suggested they wanted military deployments to enforce the border closure. They suggested the NDC minority in Parliament. Okay. They came and met the Regional Security Council of the Volta region. Mm. Subsequent to that, the Regional Minister led the delegation, including NDC MPs and military and immigration and police officials to patrol. So it's not something that's, that just began yesterday. Why is it that all of a sudden, a few days after they lost the Supreme Court case, they are making fuss about something they themselves requested for? Was it not Katie Hammond that brought this? No, it's not Katie Hammond, it's the NDC. Katie Hammond was responding to a question that was, and he spoke about Katie, and I've listened to Katie. Mm. And I say, any fair, any fair and, objective-minded person who listened to Katie. Katie said, and I guess, and went on and on. Clearly, Katie was not, speaking, was not speaking from a position of authority. He was interpreting facts, I mean, I, for himself. The subjective view of Katie cannot be imposed on the state. Katie is not a, a member of the government. Katie is suggesting that you, for example, are not a Ghanaian. Katie never suggested so, and I've listened to him. Katie never said, I'm a Ghanaian. It's not for Katie, Katie to determine my Ghanaianness. I am Ghanaian, I'm proud to be. It's as if we read the history. So Katie, 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 Katie never suggested that. In any case, mm. I said to you that I, I heard Katie. The problem I have had with Katie's commentary mm -hmm. is the part where he seeks to guess that the deployments may be uh, related to something else rather than COVID-19. Because he didn't know. That's why he said, I guess. So if the people who are in authority, the people who are not guessing, but who are speaking on authority, they are the ones who did the deployment, have come to speak. And Katie himself comes forward to say that, well, I may have um, uh, I misspoken, I may have uh, uh, been taken out of context. Maybe, maybe he had calls, but he, as a senior member of the party, I doubt that he will be speaking without knowledge. He's well, I'm telling you that I spoke without knowledge. It's not for you to doubt. I'm the deputy minister, and I'm telling you that he said himself that I guess. So I have no. So I have no so, so so it, this I guess is he said it, and it is simple language. We understand it when somebody says I guess. Okay. It tells you that the person admits that he was not talking on authority in the first place, and subsequent to that, he has come to clarify the position. Mm -hmm. Why are we holding on to the old uh, comments of Katie? Okay. So I have said to you that the facts are that 
These deployments were made in the interest of public health of the people of the Volta region. Mm. Now, when my brother says that, oh, people like Pius, being a member of the NDC mm. has nothing to do with being a Voltarian. The Volta is not a political ideology. Okay. It's a region. Mm. People from the region have continually found favor with the MPP. Okay. And so our margins continue to appreciate, whilst the NDC's fate in the Volta region has continued to decline. And you think that's why they are not happy? The people, well, they, they know, they have lost, they've lost favor with the people of the Volta region because the people of Volta region are no longer looking at this old, archaic, crude politics of tribe against tribe. Okay. They are not looking at accounts against Ewes. No. The people of the Volta region are interested in who is bringing development. Yeah, yeah, no. It, the people of the Volta no, 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 region are bringing... I'm going to hold you to straight bringing, timeline. They, they are looking, they are looking to at who is end bringing... It. Allow me, allow I'm me. Bringing, I'm bringing, I want, who is I bringing development. We need to end it because it is 44. They, they, they are looking at who is minutes, bringing development. Sam, 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 no, they are no, looking... No, they are looking at... I have some... I am going to give apply the pious sir, principle. Sir, He's done me, ten minutes. Allow me. I'll He's give done you, ten I'll minutes. give you a second fire. Hold on. I'm, I just, so, I just so, need so then end his him. ten minutes and give him a second the, the chance. Ten minutes, fine. The ten minutes has ended. Let's establish that. The, that's the fact. The ten minutes has ended. And Great. I'm watching the clock. I Actually, on my watch, it was uh, 40, 43 at the time when you were raising it. I'm using my clock, not your clock. I That's 44 it. now. Yes, so, but I, at the time you interrupted, it was, it was 44. 44. No, it was not 44. And even on your TV screen, no, it is 44. It I'm using your own time here, okay. 44. So, I'm using my watch. Paris, I asked the question earlier about whether so this or not... Is another time... What, what, yeah, about. whether or not we had a plan uh, as a country to bring back our compatriots stuck in Togo, for example, because the borders are closed, we are doing for other countries. When are we bringing them home? Is there a time? Is there a plan? If a time, if a determination has been made to evacuate Ghanaians stranded in, like we are doing in all countries, mm. and we are doing it in faces and in batches, if a determination is made that there are indeed Ghanaians, be they in Togo or in Nigeria, we have gone to Benin to bring Ghanaian students who have finished their study and are stranded. Okay. We have brought them in. If a determination has been made that our neighboring, our Ghanaians, in even neighboring West African countries, need to be evacuated. They will be evacuated. Okay, but, but I'm saying but that for now the we don't. But are, for now we don't know if we have a plan for them. If that determination is made, it will be communicated. Okay. but the people of the Volta mm. are not looking at the wedge issue of Akan versus Ewe. Okay, they are looking at who is bringing development. Okay, so they are going to ask who <coughs> uh, uh, did the road from the Tamaran about towards Aflao. Okay. They are going to look at who did the Keta Sea defense. <laughs> they are going to look at who it is that is constructing the harbor in Keta. The, there's a village that I went to over the weekend, the steel bridge, in the Bumigo Bridge. The harbor that, project that was bro, started that, in the SWL administration. What has started one? They never did nothing. It is now, as we speak now, last week, we signed a, 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 an agreement to conduct feasibilities. Okay. What did they start? We are quite even the, the site. Okay. They did not start anything. Okay, thank you very and much. And I can go on and on. Thank and you. And so the people of the water, the Eastern Corridor Project, thank you. I was looking as we for, speak <clears throat> now. I was looking for clarity, I have it. Let's take a look at uh, the Honorable Katie Hammond's video, uh, the video which has brought this conversation, the first video. We do not have the second video, but we'll play for you what the first video is. Take a look at it. Police and the, the Votarians, when I'm talking about Votarians, Vota region. I mean, there is the kind of remember the history perhaps if you guys know the history about the place basically the same tribe so they walk in come but they are not Ghanaians and when they walk in there they can do whatever they do so I guess uh, that is the reason for that see there's a classic example you remember 2008 the, the second round uh, we had so much a hundred thousand or so votes leading from Samir at the time of second round the next round one constituency uh, what's the name uh, which one no, no, no. Country South also declared all the reason. Declared all the, the, the whatever we had. Where did they come from? You see, so everybody from whatever they came to vote. So this is what the whole thing is about. We want. There's we, no clear evidence to that. Well, that's what you say. There, there is. If you those people voted thirty-five thousand or so at the time voted. The next one, they were, you know, oh, everybody else on earth voted. There. Where were they coming from? So this is the whole issue. We want there to be sanity. The military is there to make sure that you vote if you are Ghanaian. You vote if you have the right, constitutional right in Ghana to vote. That's all there is. There. They are not electoral officers, but they are peace-keeping force. 
You are keeping the peace. I want to, but that's, that's a, no, 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 no. I have any, the whole strength of it. It's a flower, it's sharp. But it's a flower, the only whatever. So the soldiers, the immigration, the police, they, what, they are just maintaining the peace, making sure that there's no infiltration. I mean, come on, be, let's be serious. What is the point in going through all that we've gone through to the Supreme Court, all that, then allow a porous border for people to come through and then uh, infiltrate, and then to, uh, what do you call it, to, to, to infiltrate the, uh, this, uh, the register again? We would have been back to where we started. And as a portion of a seven-minute video, a credit to Joy News for that, um, that clip. Sam, I'll give you also two minutes, and then we'll go to it for some messages. You see, when you think you know it all, you expose yourself. Payo says that, the cost of quarantining people in Ketu South could have built a school. Why? Is it free deploying the military? Is it in ignorance? He doesn't know that when you deploy the military, you feed them, you, you, pay, you pay operational charges to them, and that it is more expensive for the state to deploy the military than to even take off quarantine fees. If you really care about the people, your own cousins in the Ketu South constituency, if you care about your own kit and kin, you would have been worried that the state is throwing all of this money in deploying the security services have, when they could have, have used that have when they could have figures. used when they could have used we that have money the, the cost yes, of deployment me, to, the to cost of deployment would have built more schools than the cost of quarantine the please Allow nobody to needs to look at you are you deploy i'm assuming Pius. Did you know the number of people? Pius. The number of people were. Pius. 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 My time is not going. No. Pius. My time is not Allow going. Allow him to have his what time. What do you mean? He's, uh, he's he kept, he enter, he he kept quiet. quiet. Yeah, but he kept quiet. And I stopped him. I gave you yeah, an so extra. Yeah, so don't say he kept so, quiet. So he came I don't, in. I don't so like that. I can also come in. I don't like that. You he has not looked at the figures. You cannot come in. I beg you. It is not your time. If he cares about his kid and kin, he would have asked the government that he's part of, the president that he's part of, the deputy, the minister of the region he's part he comes from. To have spent the resources they are using to deploy soldiers to beat his own kit and kin, That's to a build lie. hospitals and build schools for them. Nobody's been Again, on the Nobody's been and, and let me set the record straight. When I made my earlier submission, if he was paying attention, he doesn't pay attention even when they are briefing him as a deputy minister. That's why he comes to goof on TV every time. If he was paying oh, attention, oh, that's, that's unfair, if he was that's paying unfair. attention to that's, me that's here, unfair, that's if unfair. he was paying, no, but I have to say that he doesn't pay attention. <laughs> when I spoke earlier. I mentioned the Upper East region. You mentioned you, you, the Upper West region. Talking about goofing. Mentioned the OT region and the Volta region. Look, even if you go to the Upper West region, Timpani is a border town. Because Timpani is an MPP seat, there are no military deployments in the, in the Timpani region. That's uh, another lie. That's that the is the reality on the ground. That's I'm giving you lies. specifics. That, I am giving you specifics. Attorney General's uh, constituency. Yes, Pemcast constituency. constituency. I'm giving you specific regions. Go and check. Now, on to the issue that Katie Hammond made. The, that is and, a case. and I wrap up here. Let me give you the exact figures. Figures. In, in 2008, in the first round, President Akufuado had 2,815 votes. Mm. And Professor Mills had 56,484 votes in the Ketu South constituency. In the second round, or the runoff, President Akufuado's vote went up mm. to 3,415,000. ,000, and President Mills' vote went up to 68,595. The increase in votes for President Akufuado between the first round and the runoff was 600 votes. The increase in votes for Professor Mills, mm. Katie said there was 100,000 that got wiped off, was 12,111. 12,111. Now let's look at Bantama in that same election. No, that is a in first round, Bantama, Professor, Pre well, President Akufuado had 40,000. President, President, President Akufuado had 40,493. President Professor Atamils at that time had 7,649. Okay. In the run of the now you have to stop. time is up. President Akufuado like had 56,227. And Professor Mills had 8,520. It means that President Akufuado had an increase okay. of 15,000. 734. When Professor Mills in Bantama, when Professor Mills had an increase of that's not the issue. That's so not the issue. That's not the issue. You, the point you came and said soldiers are beating people day, in markets, which is not day, true. Professor Mills did not get as much increase in Ketu South as Akufuado had in Bantama. Thank you. I'm reading a statement here uh, of 29th of June 2020. It's from the office of the Flight Lieutenant Jerry John Rawlings, retired as a former president of the Republic of Ghana. Statement by former President Rawlings on the deployment of security agencies in the Volta and Oti regions. It says, the presence of the military and other security agencies in some parts of the Volta and Oti regions is generating animosity, especially amongst uh, innocent citizens whose basic way of life is being disrupted. The deployment along the borders at peacetime 
especially at this particular point in time, has created so much suspicion mm -hmm. and will call for a lot of mm -hmm. intelligent flexibility and diligence. The COVID-19 restrictions have created enough difficulties for most of our citizens. Let us not make it worse with overbearing and intimidating behavior towards our border dwellers whose livelihood solely depend on activities along the border. Ahead of the voter registration exercise and the December elections, it is important that we demonstrate a sense of fairness and justice to all individuals and groups of people while maintaining the integrity and sanctity of the process. This was issued by Kwabena Ando Amwakwa, his communications director for the office of the ex-president. Etnam, welcome. What's, uh, what's on WhatsApp? Yes. Uh, good morning, Johnny. The military deployment at the K2 South is to prevent people from Togo from coming to Ghana to register. Johnny, the government is doing the right to, thing to prevent those illegal migrants from registering. We can't spend over 40.5 million cities and still allow intruders to make our voter register not credible again. From Agbo Nelson in Akachi. Walanyo writes from Akwitia. He says, Johnny, why are we not allowing the truth to have its way? I'm a Voltarian and I know for a fact that Togolese always find their way to Ghana to register anytime there's registration exercise because of political misunderstanding that sometimes takes place there. Regards to incoming MP for Akwitia constituency in the passing of NS Yao Kume. No intimidations can stop the good people of Volta region to come out to register and vote out this incompetent government by Abdul Malik Taylor and his censor from Tamale. Mustafa Rice from Lower Manyakobo. NDC members, let's focus. We are the modern day Israelites coming from Egypt to the promised land, <laughs> led by His Excellency John Mahama. So NDC members, the Lord is our judge and our provider. We must go out in our numbers to register for the voters card to vote massively for GM and his MPs. My regards to Honorable Telabi, John Dumelo and GM. Uh, Mustafa Lower Manyakobo. Johnny, good morning. MPP cannot win this 2020 election upon all the fear and intimidation created in some stronghold of the NDC, especially Volta, Upper West, OT, and other parts of the country. Please, Johnny, ask the MPP man whether Ghanaians abroad can't come and register at the same time uh, vote when it comes to elections. Moses sends that from uh, inside Savannah region, Tuna. Good morning, TV3. I think the deployment of heavy security men in parts of the voter region is very suspicious and undermines our democracy. Voter region is not a war zone and also not the only region with borders, hence should not be treated this way. This thing must end now. From Atibila Moses in Abuakwa, Menshia Ashanti. I'm Eric from Zipe Ketu. North Volta region. Good morning, TV3. It's clear that the MPP government is telling we, the Volterians, that we are not Ghanaians. Is Ketu South the only constituency which has a border? Don't we have Ghanaians working in Togo? I encourage every Volterian to come out in their numbers and register. Greetings to Edem Agbana. Prince Henry, rise from Kufurida. Good morning, Johnny. The Ghanaian people have lived in fear over the last four years due to rising insecurity. But when it came to the new uh, register, Mr. Kufado suddenly knew how to beef up security. Hashtag rise up and register. Hashtag defend democracy. Hashtag kick Nana out. Hashtag John Mahama 2020. This one is from Shiftman Atonsu in Kumase. It's good that the MPP has finally done the acclamation of President Kufado last Saturday. And Nana also presented uh, Dr. Baumia as his running mate. I believe that Ghanaians will give Nanado another four years to do more. Hashtag new day, hashtag Bibia Beye fine. Johnny, you made my morning. Please keep your calm. As for piles, some dot them. Good morning, TV3. I think the only two NDC has now is a hammer because they tend to see every pro problem <laughs> as a nail. My regards to Honorable Anta from Karaga constituency, sent uh, by Alabani from Karaga. Johnny, good morning. Is Aflau the only place where Ghana shares borders? With its neighbors, let's stop this unwanted actions. We deserve better. This country isn't for any one person. Aram sends that from Adenta News. Thank you. Fabio, Thank you very messages. much indeed. Tomorrow we're starting the, uh, what do you call it, the registration. Some, uh, I'll give you two minutes and then I'll give Paris two minutes as well. What are your expectations? Okay, two minutes. I'll use one, of my, one minute just to set a few records straight. Point is, a government that remembers that we have Ghanaians in Togo and goes to do NADMO donation relief, of, relief items to them in Togo things that we do not have Ghanaians in Togo which are coming. A government <laughs> that went to donate, went with NADMO mm -hmm. to donate to Ghanaians who were affected in Togo, admits that there are Ghanaians in Togo when there's a disaster and goes to do donations to them. Today is saying 
that there are no Ghanaians in Togo, and that is Togolese who come into Ghana. That's one thing. Secondly, <laughs> when, when Pio seeks to sit here mm. and say that this is going to be about the records of the parties in the Volta region, we are excited to engage in that. Because at the end of the day, mm. when you ask him to name projects in there, He's talking about a project they say they are doing feasibility study for. Mm. The NEC is not going to talk about feasibility studies. Talk about we, are going to, we, are, we are going to, we, are, we, have, we have the University of Health and Allied Sciences there that University we have given to them. Empires, we have the U-House Hospital we built there. When it comes to the previous administration, Trafalgar, and the import of what Trafalgar does for the people of the Volta region. Okay. When it comes to the, the Sugakope Clinic, mm. you, also have, you, also have, you also have the imp So when it comes to what the NDC has done, the airport, open the airport for the people there to boost their local, the, 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 the local economy there. Okay. So for us, for me, it is not surprising. Mm. If you've read, if you're a student of literature, mm. you, you saw what C Brutus mm. did to Julius Caesar, where he turned around and asked him, hey, two Brutus, you two Brutus? I'm sure the Voltarians, the people, his uncles and aunties watching in the Volta region today, they are, are very asking themselves. They are, they, are they, are they are not listening to you. They know what's happening. They, 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 they know what Thank is you. happening. But <laughs> coming to the Volta, the, the Volta talk, registration. If, if, if you take three, I'll give him three. Oh, no, no problem. Yeah, Going so, to the Volta registration. Hmm. As in always. The women, in the women, in the women, in the women, in december it's biosu. Ne, it's an enye kla enye jepo. Ne, enye angma enye bie. Ne, ke enye angma enye bie o. Thank you. Ne, enye bie, ne se, shiki fon wo mi o mi. Ne, wa nye, ne wa fye, ma wali no me. Ke ni, 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 basa basa yin. Ne, 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 wa man be si be yo. Wa fye me. Ne, wa wo jom ma ke NDC yo. Ke pali ke ba di zema se. Ma wo jonye. Wanda Boshi. Thank you. Fires, would you also speak ever? He oh, can't. I mean, this drama is unnecessary. He can't. It's, he oh, can't. Please, can we be serious? He let's, can't. Let's Allow be serious. Allow this him. drama is he unnecessary. He can't. This Sam, drama, Sam, this Sam, drama, Sam, this drama Sam, is unnecessary. Pius. Tomorrow I mean, we're starting a registration. I mean, someone process. who stabs his own people in the back. He this can't drama be. is unnecessary. If he tries to speak the language, the gods will tie his tongue. Allow, allow, Sam, allow. If he tries to speak ever to you on this show, the gods will tie his tongue. Sam, allow. For what he's done to you, you cannot take a man's language from him. I mean, on this one, the man doesn't even own the language. Allow. Can we get serious and move away from this? Tomorrow I have dared you. Try and Speak ever. The boss will tie your tongue. Look at speak this. Ever here. Let's get serious. Tomorrow, I mean, we're, I mean, tomorrow we are beginning a registration. I've process. dared you let's speak ever. Pius, Pius, focus. Johnny, let's Johnny, go. don't worry about me. Don't, don't do that. I'm saying that we have to get serious in the, on this platform. Well, try more. Okay? And I'm telling you that so, we're talking so, about registration. So, so this drama and child's play, I'm not interested in. Speaking my language, so, so, the language so, of my best so, is child's play. Johnny, so, I take strong exception to this. Well, you can take... No, no, no. Johnny, look. Can you allow me to have my... Can you allow me to have... I take strong exception. If he disrespects can you allow me, his heritage... Can you allow me to make my point and, and behave as the member of parliament that you are? For political experience, you are representing people who will embarrass them here. I respect my people. I respect my Gandangwe heritage. And when I speak Thank my you. language, you, you tell me that Thank it's child's play. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not a backstabber. Thank I you. know where I come Lyons, from. Lyons, you, tomorrow, I have not lost tomorrow my roots. we're registering. Let, let's go ahead. You have to do some introspection. What I speak of as child's play mm. is not the language. Let's go on. So let's go I spoke on. the, the language point, and you said you won't engage in point, that child's play. The point has to be made that my there are Ghanaians in Togo, as there are Ghanaians everywhere. Right. Just like we have our brethren who cannot come from elsewhere because the borders are closed. Mm -hmm. This argument about Ghanaians being in Togo mm -hmm. is a non-starter. In mm -hmm. fact, it is an ignorant positioning. The borders are closed, not mm -hmm. to non ghanaians alone, mm -hmm. even to Ghanaians. So the borders are closed. We cannot approbate and reprobate. So that's the first point. Okay. Now, number two, just recently, there was deployment of joint security teams in Accra, Kumasi, Kaswa, and Tema mm -hmm. to enforce the restrictions that, that, that were announced, the lockdown. 
Why didn't the NDC argue that it was a deployment that was made in peacetime and so it was an invitation? The deployment was made in okay. the two regions where there was a long time. Gentlemen, can be can you be honourable? Is it no? Sammy, no, Sammy, but I expect Sammy, you to be Sammy, intelligent. Can you be in? Can you be? I will be honourable. Be, be intelligent. I mean, what is this? I will be honourable. Be intelligent. How can you compare a lockdown you wait, in two regions? You wait. You there was wait. a lockdown in two regions. You wait. And there was the you wait. To no, you wait. You wait. Now there was election everywhere. And the deployment was George. What is this? Is this? What is this? a member of parliament for the good people of Ningbo Trump. This cannot be an honourable member of parliament. And Pius Enam Hajide is a Deputy Minister for Information of the Republic of Ghana.